today we will make something from Duet magazine. I will show you how to make these Afghan squares. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position and the beds are centered. Raise 80 needles on the front bed of the machine, 40 to the left and 40 to the right side of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now raise 80 needles on the back bed of the machine and place the edge springs on the last needles. You have to observe the needle rule. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 4. Set the back lock the same way. Now insert the orange strippers. I will use light blue and dark blue yarn to make this project. Rotate the racking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit one row. Rotate the racking handle one full turn clockwise and knit one row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX, the stitch size to 3.5 and, and press the left arrow key. Set the back lock the same way. Raise pushers and row working needles on the front bed and arrange them as in the diagram. Now raise pushers and row working needles on the back bed and arrange them as in the diagram. You can see up close. Now the most important step, take your phone and throw it in the trash bin. Otherwise you will have squares like this one, and like this one, and this one. Now let's begin. Rotate the racking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit two rows. Now change the color. Rotate the racking handle one full turn clockwise and knit two rows. Now repeat these five steps. Rotate the racking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit two rows. Now change the color. Rotate the racking handle one full turn clockwise and knit two rows. Now again, rotate the racking handle one full turn to the left and knit two rows. Change the color, rotate the racking handle one full turn to the right and knit two rows. Repeat these steps until you need a total of 44 rows, the lock must be on the right side of the machine. I will leave the whole footage so you can see that this square is very easy to make. In some of my next videos I may show you another variation from the same magazine. By the way, you can use these squares to make afghans, pillowcases, baby blankets and many other things. To make a good size afghan you have to make about 45 of these squares. One square weighs about 12 grams and the sides are 15 centimeters or about 6 inches. Remember the 5 steps, racking handle to the left, knit 2 rows, change the color, racking handle to the right, knit 2 rows. Psst, 
Hey, I know you're watching. I will share one secret with you. The Christmas post on my Facebook page has a link to all the instructions, even the ones for my future videos. You can check it out. Now let's make the cast off. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 4.5. Now knit two rows. Increase the stitch size to 6.5 on both sides and knit the last row. The lock must be on the left side of the machine. Lower the front bed, take the yellow tool and make a zigzag latch cast off. By the way, don't forget to leave me a comment what you will use these squares for. When you take the last stitch, run the yarn behind the latch into the hook and pull it through. Raise the front bed, then take the orange ruler and raise all needles to remove the knitting from the machine. It should look like this. Now take a tapestry needle and hide all excess yarn tails. You need to leave the cast off tail and one of the cast on tails. You can make a small knot or weave the tail between the stitches. So you will have only two tails. Use the cast on tail to sew both sides together. It should look like this. Now take the cast on tail and sew the center. It should look like a square. This is the final result. It looks beautiful even with my bad sewing skills. You have to knit more squares and sew them together to make the blanket. You can prepare them and sew them while you are traveling or watching my other videos. Oh, by the way, you can make these ones the same way, you only have to change the color after every two rows. And one more thing, if you want to make the squares bigger and thicker, use 3 strands of yarn and increase the stitch size by one number. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.